I grew up in, in Australia, but in a, a small a country town called Cairns, right at the at the top of Queensland, at the top of Australia. It's a tropical city, and it's it's kind of on the border between the Great Barrier Reef and the ocean, and the rainforest and the, the tropical rainforest that's up there. It's a lovely town, but very small. You know, only um, 100,000 people. It's only a really tiny place. I love the, the idea of mentoring and the idea of coaching and of training. Uh, first of all, for me, I've always seen myself more as a teacher and a trainer. Someone who is able to pass on information and share that with people so that they can use it. And in my early, in my early work, before I actually started speaking publicly, I was a coach. And a coach for me is somebody who shares information for a purpose. So they don't need to have experience in that specific area, but they have experience in making change and creating a difference. A mentor, on the other hand, is someone who has the runs on the board, they've, they've scored in that area. They also have specific knowledge about how to help other people. Now, I like to talk about a team, and I think being a mentor, and me as a mentor or a coach for, for anyone, is about being a part of a team. For me, team stands for total experts meaning they know what they're doing in that area. Achievers, meaning they've achieved results in that area that others could want. And mentors, meaning that you know, me as a mentor, I have the ability to pass the information on. Because you can get experts that don't achieve. They're book read experts, they've just read books and that's it. You can get achievers that aren't good at teaching and passing on information. But to have a mentor is someone who has the expertise and the achievement in the history, who can also pass that information on so that others can create great results. For me, being a mentor is an immense compliment.